hello and welcome back and this is going to be a very short video about some information that has glided its way into my email that I really want to talk about. I've known about this for about a week and a bit but I wanted to get verified for a few different places in the background. It concerns the Terramaster F4424 Max. There's going to be a third device in this family of devices. We already know about the F4424, which runs on a cheeky little N95 kind of Celeron-esque processor. And then we saw the Pro, the Pro arriving um, with uh, a couple of 2.5 GB there on the rear, but it also arrived with that i3 N305 processor. And we were all pretty chuffed with it, pretty affordable, I think, at 599, 699. Uh, and then this suddenly appeared, and it looks like it's part of a larger strategy from Terramaster launching a whole new lineup. We already talked vaguely about the F8 SSD and F8 SSD Pro, and this next system is really scaling things up, trying to challenge a lot more of the kind of prosumer-esque kind of high-performance models that other brands have had in the market for a while. Now, the F4424 Max arrives with an Intel i5 processor, the i5-1235U, a 10-core processor uh, that is um, 8 F efficient cores, two power cores there that could be burst up to 4.4 gigahertz when needed. It's also got integrated graphics on board. I think it's XE graphics, which means there's got transcoding or virtual machine management and Dockers 2, of course. On top of that, it arrives with 8 gig of DDR5 memory that can be scaled up to 32 gig. I don't know if it's one or two slots. I don't have a real data sheet to work off with here, but it does seem legitimate to me. On top of that, it's got four SATA ports. Indeed, it's using exactly the same chassis as this one, uh, the Pro series that we talked about there before. Each one can support up to the very latest 24 TB drives for that matter as well. Now, as good as all that sounds, it doesn't end there. On top of that, you've got a couple of M.2 slots inside. Not unusual, but keep in mind that that CPU, that Alder Lake, although it's a 12th gen, it also has Gen 4 lanes on board. Now, we'll get onto the ports and connections because there's another little lovely thing at the end there, but that means there is the potential of those M.2 slots being Gen 4. Four. Now, I don't know if they're going to be scaled down to Gen 4 times 2 or even Gen 4 times 1, but chances are they're going to be Gen 4 slots, which means 2,000 megs per lane per, per, per speed, which is going to make this very attractive as a compact NAS system with fast M.2 NVMEs. At the moment, in terms of turnkey NAS solutions, only QNAP have got that right now, with Terramaster stretching its muscles here as kind of arguably the value budget player in the market, making some really aggressive moves. But it gets even more interesting. Now, when we look at the rear of this one, on this, this has got a couple of 2.5 gigs there on the rear. Now, the Max system, which again, we only know about in data sheet form vaguely, and by that I mean what I was able to scrape, arrives with two 10 GBE copper port on board. It's a 20 gigabit bandwidth system. And all the indications I've seen for pricing sit at around 899 to 949 for pricing. Again, that's from the distributors, that's from channel data. That seems to be the price tag we're looking at here, although it doesn't, I don't know if that's going to include profit or tax or anything like that. These really are just vague numbers. But we are talking about an i5 system with two Gen 4 M2 NVMe slots, probably, and 20 gig external connectivity over copper. Very interesting indeed. There's no mention of 2.5 GBE, those are the sole connections, and the 10 GBE connections on it seem to be, uh, sorry, the USB connections seem to be 10 GBE, a couple of A's and one C. There's no mention on there of Thunderbolt 4 or um, USB, uh, USB 4. There's no mention of that, unfortunately, which would have been interesting to see. But this seemingly indicates that this is looking like, not only is it the third entry into the 424 series, but this looks like it's forming this wider range of devices that are rocking out alongside that SSC dedicated system and TOS 6. And right now, Terramaster seems to be putting a lot of weight behind this new operating system. We looked at it ages ago on Alpha. We may have to return to it very, very soon. But at least for now, Terramaster seems to be making some very big moves in the kind of affordable sphere of hardware and we're not seeing much from other players right now in terms of hardware they may be getting in there early before everyone else starts to unveil their solutions and as we rock out of august into september there's going to be users looking for a bit of budget to spend who are going to be looking at systems like that thinking that's pretty darn good for turnkey yes you could probably build something similar for the price 
But I don't think it's going to cost that much less than buying a turnkey NAS solution like this that's going to allow you to slam on Unraid, slam on True NAS anyway. And that's something you would have done with the DIY solution. This just involves slightly less um, a silicon paste underneath your fingernails. But let me know what you guys think. Hopefully when we know more about this system or any updates about it, I'll update them in the article below, as well as perhaps addressing it in a future review, hopefully. But we'll have to wait and see. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.